Hey guys, I'm sure you can remember my Freelines video. I will place it somewhere here in the info box. Yeah, there was a lot of questions and one question that was there repeatedly was how much does all this stuff weight? So I decided to bring a bag and a scale and I will show you what's the weight of all this gear. Yeah, there were also a lot of people that told me I bring too much gear and I don't need this or I don't need that, but I know what I have to bring, so mind your own business. At first, before I undo all this, I want to tell you I was in the military, I walked a lot with big backpacks and with a lot of weight, and nowadays I also walk around with a lot of weight in the mountains, so I know what I can carry. Two things you have to keep in mind is my body weight, naked is 96 kilogram and my height so how tall i am is 1.92 meters so i'm a big guy and not that light the normal regular guy or the average european is something like that if i remember right so yeah now let's start at first i can still move a lot so I can do all this stuff with all the gear. So that's not a problem. Of course, crawling is not really possible with a big backpack, so I would have to undo it. And my freedom of movement is not really limited. <laughs> Even with all these pockets and pouches. Now, undoing the big backpack. So the big backpack is the third line. Third line is for luxury uh, things like the sleeping bag, food for several days and yeah you can already hear me breathing heavy because the microphone is right next to my throat. There's also the day pack inside so this is the third line. Now at first I want to write the weights here in kilograms because kilograms are accurate. Sorry for my English, I am a German guy. First rifle, in this case it's a G36 blue gun. Why a blue gun? Yeah, blue gun is made of plastic, it's a training rifle. You can abuse it and so if you do things it's uh, not going, going to damage your rifle. So this is 3.5 kilograms approximately. Now the pistol, also a blue gun, in this case it's a blue one, <laughs> this one is spray painted and there's the weight. Yeah, that's the weapons without the ammunition, but I will have to talk about the ammunition later when I get to the second line. Now let's see how heavy the backpack is, it's a self-made one and the day pack I used in the Freelines video was a Berghaus Munro 2 IR. So, I lift it up, 16.5 kilogram. But now there's no water inside, there's no fuel for my stove inside and there is no spare ammunition inside. Also no radio, no spare batteries for the radio, no shovel. Um, in the end of the video I will talk a bit about gear and specializations or specializations and so for now this is the weight of the backpack yeah water totally depends on the mission the area the conditions but in most cases you will carry around at least three liters of water so that means three kilograms in the smog and in the chest structure should also be some water so in the smog let's say 500 milliliters, that means half a kilo more. In the chest rig, maybe also half a liter or a liter, that means even more. And if you don't bring a water filter, I uh, right now I have got two water filters, a small one in my smock and a big one for the whole squad. So if you don't bring them, you would need more water. But in some areas, there's also less water or less lakes, less streams, and so you cannot fill it up then you will have to bring more water. But 
for right now, let's just work with this weight because of course, sometimes you have to need or have to carry nine liters of water. Then it means more. I think you will get the point. Now let's wait the chest trick. Chest trick is the second line. The second line includes everything you need for combat. There's also a radio, a headset, so communication, um, maybe grenades, magazines, etc., etc. inside. Right now, only empty magazines. Yeah, it's Germany, the German gun law is kind of special, so I have to uh, do my video things with these training rifles and with, yeah, with loose or with empty magazines. So the chest trick empty is three kilograms. Now, three kilograms with only empty magazines for the rifle. In there are eight magazines right now. Now let's put some rounds in the magazines. So then the weight is up to this. You can see it's getting more heavy and more heavy without any specialization or any heavy radios in this backpack. Of course, this is already a lot of weight. Now to the first line. The first line is all the stuff I wear on my body. Even the mask. Yeah, why a mask? It protects you from hot things, from the sun, it's camouflage. So a mask is not only for hiding the identity. The smog is already relatively heavy. Yeah, a smog is mainly used for recon missions or for long range reconnaissance or for snipers and yeah, there are some recon troops. In the US Army, you don't see smogs that often, but in the British Army and in the German Army, you would still find smogs. Okay, how heavy is it? It's 5.3 kilograms. There is a rain garment inside. Yeah, make sure to check my free lines video so you can see what's inside the smog and what's inside the each pocket individually. Now before I forget it again, there is a knife around my neck. Yeah, these people still are commenting and asking why I don't bring a knife in my free lines. I forgot to mention it, but yeah, people are just too lazy to read the description. So also make sure in this video to read the description. Thank you knife and of course the pants so pants three point two kilogram yeah the weight of the bag I use is two hundred gram grams so let's say three kilogram and I didn't weigh the boots, so I will look after doing this video and add the weight of the boots. Yeah, of course, there's also some underwear and t-shirt, but I put some extra underwear and t-shirt in the big backpack, so I don't need to undress completely. Please, you're welcome. Yeah, right now, sadly, I don't know what the exact weight is, but check it, you will see it at home, and now you can think about, can you carry it? Or do you think soldiers can carry it? Of course, there is no ballistic included in the setup right now. So this would add even more weight. But now I want to talk about specialization. But at first, let me put on my jacket again. And then you come a bit closer and I will talk about it. In the military, you are not alone. You're not walking around alone. And right here I have shown one example of what you can bring. Not what everybody brings, but someone may will bring for this specific kind of operation or mission or training, whatever. So in the military, you usually are a troop or a squad. I'm not sure about all these English words on how big the group of 
people is, but you get the point. Because then you can split up equipment. For example, right now I have got this 10 liter water filter for the whole troop I'm working with. So when I'm walking around with like five other guys or maybe only three other guys, then they don't also have to bring a big water filter like this. Also a stove. Usually it's enough if two guys bring a stove. So when one stove breaks, there's still a second stove to work with. So not everyone needs to carry a stove. Same is with specialization. Maybe there is a sniper, so we'll have a big rifle, other magazines, maybe then not a pistol, but a submachine gun. And when you're the radio guy, you will have a big radio in your backpack, so maybe your back is getting heavier. But then there's the other guy with the grenade launcher, for example, and then he has got also a heavier backpack. And in the normal infantry, there's also the machine gunner. And in the German army, the machine gunner is the machine gunner and one guy who helps him. So they both usually have bigger backpacks and heavier backpacks. But you can see, depending on the specialization, weight will add up more and more. And of course, at some point, you would have to start to empty your bags and to leave something at home you would usually bring. For example, you bring only one sleeping bag for two guys or two for three guys because at the night someone will keep, stay awake and so he doesn't really need a sleeping bag when it's warm enough. So it really depends on a lot of things. Do you bring shoes, snow, shoes, maybe a shovel for snow, snow, maybe a shovel for digging a OP, observation post, or a hide. So you see there are so many different things you can consider when presenting equipment or a kit for these kind of operations. So of course, what I've talked about in this video and what I have shown in my freelance video is not a 100% complete best kit for everyone. It's just an example of what someone may bring. Okay, I'm starting to repeat myself. So yeah, I think I didn't forget to mention anything. I hope you like the video, stay safe, stay at home maybe or flatten the curve or whatever so thank you for watching make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want place a comment if you want and do whatever you want but don't fuck around with people on youtube without knowing anything about backgrounds or about the things they are talking about thank you bye